In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Gospel of March the 1st, 2018. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to the Pharisees, There was a rich man who dressed in purple garments and fine linen, and dined sumptuously each day. And laying at his door was a poor man named Lazarus, covered with sores, who would gladly have eaten his fill of the scraps that fell from the rich man's table. Dogs even used to come and lick his sores. When the, when the poor man died, he was carried away by angels to the bosom of Abraham. The rich man also died and was buried. And from the netherworld, where he was in torment, he raised his eyes and saw Abraham far off, and Lazarus at his side. And he cried out, Father Abraham, have pity on me. Send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am suffering torment in these flames. Abraham replied, My child, remember that you received what was good during your lifetime, while Lazarus likewise received what was bad. But now he, was, he is comforted here, whereas you are tormented. Moreover, between us and you a great chasm is established, to prevent anyone from crossing who might wish to go from our side to yours, or from your side to ours. He said, Then I beg your father, send him to my father's house, for I have five brothers, so that they that he may warn them, lest they, lest they too come to this place of torment. But Abraham replied, They have Moses and the prophets. Let them listen to them. He said, Oh no, Father Abraham, but if someone from the dead goes to them, they will repent. Then Abraham said, If they will not listen to Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded if someone would rise from the dead. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, Father Hopko preached that the only one arising from the death in the, la in the time of the Lord Jesus, who had a name, was precisely Lazarus. And what did the Jews do? Did they repent? Did they convert it? No, they wanted to kill him. They wanted to kill Lazarus along with the Lord Jesus. So that was true, just as the Lord said. It is not enough for us to see a dead man coming to us and telling us we will not repent. Like uh, Alphonse Marie of Ligor said, we need to convert out of love, not out of fear. What do we have today here? Again, let me use this to explain something that, in my point of view, has been going away from Scripture and the words of the Lord, and even from the fathers of the tradition. These indulgences and the purgatory. According to God, according to the Lord God, there is no such place as the purgatory because we can say that Abraham's bosom where the angels took Lazarus certainly was not just yet heaven but was no purgatory, no suffering whereas Lazarus is in the fire and Abraham says you cannot come here you cannot come here he didn't say, wait a few years, a few hours, whatever, once you're cleansed, once you're cleansed, we will take you here. He didn't say that. And you, you will, you'll stay there. And that is exactly what the Lord Jesus said in chapter 25 of Matthew, where he said, when the Son of Man comes in glory, all nations will be brought to him and he will separate them some to the right, some to the left. The ones on the right will be welcomed into heaven. The ones on the left will be sent to the fire, just as that rich man was sent to the fire. In my point of view, there is nothing wrong with receiving blessings, just as this rich man did. What was very wrong was that he never used them for any good. For in chapter 25 of Matthew, the Lord says, for I hungered and you fed me, I thirsted and you gave me to drink, 
I was naked and you clothed me. I was a foreigner and you welcomed me. I was ill and you attended me, in prison and you visited me. And because the rich man never did any of those things to the poor Lazarus, he was sent to hell forever. So let us take that possibility of going into the purgatory, because I believe, along with scriptures and the fathers, that there is no such thing. It is an infamous thought when I recall when they started being, how they were used, because they used to be sold, and they still are sold. I don't know with, if with the knowledge of the Bishop of Rome or not, but still they, I mean, I have a nice little piece of paper signed by Pope Paul II, Saint Paul II, uh, and the, the people that, that went into Rome and bought it for my family said that probably they, it cost like 25 euros or 40 euros. It was just a small, there are large ones that cost more than that. But would God really sell his salvation? Isn't that exactly against everything that we believe? Today the Lord is reminding us in a very different way to do what he has commanded us. That we should share our bread, our drink. Had the rich man shared just a little bit the scraps, even the scraps of his table, he might have been saved. Do we even believe that? Do we even think about it? Many times we don't. Most of the times we want to accumulate wealth, but in accumulating wealth, in not in wanting to preserve our time for our comfort, we might be accumulating the place in hell where we might just spend the rest of our eternity. Dear brothers, I urge you today, again, turn around, do what's right. May the Lord be with you, and the blessing of God Almighty, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, descend on you and remain on you forever.